I'm just trying to get out. I'm cornered. Look, a bitch is cornered. Can't get out here. Can't get out there. Shit. Bounce, west side make a bounce right now. Right now, north side make a bounce right now. Right now, middle finger to the odds right now. Niggas, you down for the cost right now. Right now, dead side make a bounce right now. Right now, get the money and we out right now. Right now, get the boys that they want right now. In the spot right now, make a bounce right now. Like that. Working, whipping, grinding, no more time. And I guess I should take it slow. Hmm, I wonder what time it is. Do y'all know what time it is? <laughs> I knew y'all knew. It is time for a comment shout out. <laughs> the first comment shout out goes to Daddy West. Thanks for commenting. Interesting name. <laughs> Second, HFM family. He's a true supporter. He got me. The third, last but not least, goes to the one and only Oz. She's always down below. I appreciate all y'all's comments. Keep them coming, okay? What is good, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, this one right here is a little different, okay? So we are living in some interesting times, y'all. This bitch, Rona, is out here making a ruckus. Like she's throwing them hands. Like, wow, she's out here. <laughs> and I just wanted to do a video, you know, this video is a combination of a uh, get ready with me with my date with quarantine, okay? <laughs> and a little story time. I was like, why not, you know, tell a little story about when I tried to go grocery shopping last Friday? Cause I mean, can we please have a moment of silence? <laughs> <laughs> Can we please have a moment of silence? Because that was a struggle. It was a struggle. It was such a struggle. People are just acting very interesting. Like the times are interesting and people's actions are very interesting right now. So let's get on with the video, okay? So if you think the melanin is popping, you. You, 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 <laughs> you know what to do. You gotta keep on watching. So y'all, I already have my eyebrows done. She's ready. And now I just have to figure out what type of look I'm trying to do right now. You know, I'm thinking that quarantine likes a little green. <laughs> I feel like a green type of look, you know, cause that's calling me, that's calling my soul. Like I said before, this video is gonna be a story time, get ready with me type of situation. So, like I said, I'm not taking light. People have passed due to this virus. So I'm not making light of the situation. I'm just telling y'all what has been transpiring. Rona is affecting my life, y'all. It's affecting my likelihood. It's affecting everything. And last Friday, one of my brother's friends told him that like they're shutting down grocery stores. And we're like, okay, like if they're gonna do that, we, you know, we need to make sure that we have enough groceries. Thank God that my mom, I felt like she could foresee the future because that Monday last week, we went grocery shopping for a lot of the things we would need anyway. We just wanted a little bit extra of non-perishable foods. So, you know, that's what I did. I went out, went to good old Winko, Lancome Tent Abdul Ultra Concealer in the color Suede. But I'm just putting that on my lid, you know, to give me, like, make it pop. Okay, so I left around 12 o'clock to go to Winko, and I remember that's when the press conference started. So I was like, crap. I was like, man, if he really shutting down these stores, like, I gotta be prepared. I'll be inserting clips of like my experience while I'm doing this. Y'all, I knew, okay, I knew it was bad when I pulled up to Winko and everybody was there. <laughs> Everybody in the Bamboo was there, and oh, good thing I was able to find parking. It was a mad ting. It was mad, and I was mad. And so, you know, I walk into Winko. And then I walk in to go get a cart. I look to my right, and all them carts are gone. 
They're all gone. All the carts were gone. And I was like, how is this even possible? It's crazy, look. There's no carts at Winko. Look, I have to run and chase someone to go get a cart. Everyone in the mama here, y'all. Jeez. Y'all pray for me. I'm, I'm not ready. So, you know, that could tell you how much people were in the damn store. What I'm gonna do next is put this black opal concealer, flawless concealer in the color honey. I wanna put this on just to, you know, give my under my eyebrow a pop because I didn't conceal under that. It's a little bit brighter color. I had to run in the parking lot because it was like a free for all. <laughs> It was a damn free for all. Okay, so I had to run back into the parking lot, chase someone down that's putting their groceries into their car and snatch their car up. Drastic times call for drastic measures, I guess. I get in there, walking around. I'm like, okay, I have this list. Tell me why. The line is literally wrapped around. People are blocking the damn aisle. The line is all the way back here, and the line is all the way back here. How the hell am I supposed to get out? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, because look at all the hell I'm going through. I'm just trying to get out. I'm cornered. Look, a bitch is cornered. Can't get out here, can't get out there. Shit. I'm like, how am I supposed to get in and out of these aisles when people are blocking them? team too much we all have a common goal like we're all gonna get our groceries just taking my booty blender and just hiding this out people were leaving empty carts filled with food all throughout the store hey y'all i don't know why people are just leaving their carts everywhere like what is that why i don't know like are they just leaving and going like people just left their carts in here like just random carts just being left in the aisle you don't know how to put our carts back? This is ridiculous. All throughout the store, I was like, I don't get your reasoning. Maybe they got tired of waiting in line, so they just left their groceries there and left. But I'm like, if I'm gonna put in all that work to get all these groceries, like if I'm gonna put in all this work, okay? I'm gonna stay in line and make sure I get my groceries. Where's your patience? Like, nah, B, no one's taking me out like that. Like, if I gotta get something, I'm gonna stay and get what I need. So I'm gonna use this Revolution Reloaded Division Palette right here. I'm gonna use this orange, this ring right here. And I'm gonna put that on my lid as a transition. I was just, you know, doing my grocery shopping, going down my list and getting everything I need. Finally, I was done with my list because honestly, my list was not even that long anyway. I get in line and your girl's just waiting. We're waiting, we're just waiting to get these groceries. And I'm in all the way in the bag. It's not too bad, I feel like for taking your time. But this is all the stuff I got right here. You guys can go, there's like four. There's a lot of things open right here. I spent two and a half hours and that was like the hysteria that was going on last week and it's still going on right now honestly i can't even get toilet paper still the trick is you got to call before you get to the store because i'm not wasting any more gas driving to a store and finding out that they don't even have toilet paper i literally seen a video where a lady went back put toilet paper in a car, came back and bought like three because Costco is doing this whole rule where they only let one card member buy one pack of toilet paper, which makes sense because people are just being irrational. This lady literally came back, went back, came back, went back, came back, went back. Like why? Why are we so anxious to get toilet paper? Like there's not people that you take a shit you literally wash your ass, use soap, water, go wash your ass. You take a piss, wash the poom poom, 
wash the smegma. <laughs> like people that have bidets, like y'all are on this, okay? You gotta worry. Like times like this, I wish I had a bidet. It would just make things a little bit easier. But if y'all run out, wash your ass. Okay, that's all I gotta say about that. Honestly, right now, I'm most worried about my finances. What people need to realize, like right now, like all these electricity, water, companies, all that, Puget Sound Energy, like what's good? Y'all need to calm down. Like all these people need to calm down and realize that people are out of work. So things will not get paid on time. Like, who? I've been talking, talking, let me blend out this eyeshadow real fast, y'all. Y'all, I'm just going to take this green right here, this dark green from the same palette. I'm just going to put that in my corner to give it some depth. It takes a lot to like worry me and stuff like that. So I'm not really like too shook about it because I know I'm clean regardless. And it's just like weird to me how People are like, wash your hands, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, damn, so what was everyone doing before? And like, if I get anything on the outside, I'm gonna clean that up. The hysteria is real. It just kind of sucks that it took this for people to finally practice like good hygiene. <laughs> but I'm like, damn, so what were y'all doing before? Before they had to remind y'all to wash your hands. Like, ugh. Y'all, people are just dirty. I'm just blending it out with my blending brush. I just want everything to get better. I know that, God forbid, if I did get the virus, I'd be fine. But the people that I'm mostly worried about is my like parents and stuff that are a little older in age. You know what I mean? Rona out here. She's out here catching bodies and damn like I don't want to make light of what people are there's people that have passed you know from this virus so I just want us all to be you know vigilant and aware that shit is going down you know so like it it's your health you know, if you if you can take it seriously and make sure you're clean, that that is really what's gonna help everyone else. We're passing it to each other. So if we just wash, you know, wash our hands, stay social isolation. I mean, I'm doing a good job with that clearly because me and quarantine have a date tonight. So I mean, hope you're ready for me. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so dumb. <laughs> I was on, I think it was like the shade room. People still going to the beach. People in Florida be baffling me. They're like a different breed of people. Whatever happens, happens. Like it's really messing up with my spring break. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach and they're closing all of it. It's really messing up. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. I think it's doing way too much. Doing us bad. We need a refund. This virus ain't that serious. It's serious. It's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty. And we need to address yes, that. Yeah, I mean, we planned this a long time ago and it was kind of up in the air if we still go. But like, we're here. I just turned 21 this year, so I'm here to party. So it's kind of disappointing. But we're just making the most of it. We met these other people in our little Airbnb spot. So we're just hanging out with them and trying to get drunk before everything closes. I mean, it sucks, but. We're gonna make the best We're of it. Enjoying We're enjoying ourselves. Now. It sucks. And I'm from New Orleans, so this really sucks. However, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. We having day parties all day. It's my birthday, St. Patrick's Day. I don't get y'all. Y'all explain if anyone watches me from Florida, please explain to me why y'all are acting a fool and acting like it's just regular old spring break. I'm gonna take more of this color right here with my flat head brush and I'm just putting this on right here to make it pop some more. There we go. Okay y'all, so next I'm gonna take 
this green color right here right here you know just stay safe out there more than everything safety is like key just stay in your house and don't go gallivanting if you don't need to go gallivanting and eh? i don't know the block is hot out here so i don't know about anywhere else but i ain't trying to be <laughs> out here out here like that like that anymore i'm just putting that green color on my bottom lid like i said y'all just stay safe be safe stay inside you don't gotta go outside like that and if you do go outside get what you need come back inside <laughs> in that order okay <laughs> i'm gonna take this green color i got this color from color pop cosmetics let me see what color it is it's super shook shadow and the color sour it's fitting because i'm feeling quite sour about this whole corona situation hey let me put that in i like using my finger too because i feel like i'd be doing a better job Ooh, got some extra right here oh oh it's popping okay sour you did that you did that thing all right y'all so next i'm gonna take the same concealer to abdul i'm gonna put that on just a little bit clean this up put some on my nose so next I'm going to bake under my eye right here I'm going to take this and then bake under my eye Just have that stick for a little bit my contour stick oh quarantine gonna love this look for real I'm just putting this on, you know, my blending brush. Just blend that out, this up a little bit. Y'all just be safe out there. Like I said, Seattle, New York is where the block is hot. New Jersey and all that. Stay safe. And clean, safe and clean. While we're letting our face bake some more, I'm gonna put on my lashes, y'all know. I wouldn't be me if I didn't put on my lashes. Y'all already know what lashes I'm using. My Milky Lashes right here. Y'all already know this wouldn't be a video without them. I feel like the song is the most fitting. Now I have my lashes on. I'm just going to use my Tartrus eyeliner right here. All right, y'all. I just need to dust this off. So I'm going to take my blending brush. I'm just going to dust off. Hopefully y'all, you know, me in quarantine will have a good day. Okay, we're probably just going to Netflix and chill and watch and catch up on power. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully quarantine, you know, and I get a second date. <laughs> okay, girl. I, I did that thing. For lips, I can't find my brown lip liner, so I'm just going to use this Revlon lip cushion I'm gonna use this and outline my lips lip lingerie this is in the color lipply oh the same one yep so I'm gonna take this one highlighter this right here I'm just gonna use this color Right here, I'm just gonna put this 
Ooh, yes, just the highlight. It's gonna do my nose. Okay, y'all, and then let me just take these out. I'll be right back, let me, let me take this off and brush my hair. The final look, ow. Thank y'all so much for making it to the end of this video. Hopefully y'all found my story a little entertaining, you know. Like I said, we are living in interesting times. Make sure y'all just keep yourself healthy and clean and all of that, you know, social distance and hopefully y'all quarantine, okay? Since I slayed, you know, we go on a second date. <laughs> Y'all need to get the joke, okay? If you haven't got the joke by now, I mean, you're a little slow. <laughs> Just saying. Make sure y'all like this video. Make sure you like it. Give it a like down below. Comment, okay? Y'all know if you comment, you get featured on my next video, my next one. Help your girl out, y'all. I'm trying to reach my next goal, which is 500 subscribers. Please, y'all, please. <laughs> Help your girl reach her goal to 500 subscribers by clicking or tapping the subscribe button down below. Okay, y'all know, okay, y'all know that I will see you in my next video. Peace. And stay safe, y'all. Stay clean and pray. <laughs> hey, hey. Pride's gonna be the death of me. Hold up. Wait, you know you gotta guard your energy. Guard your energy.